Hi there. So today I want to show you how to place an order, start a party, or do anything regarding orders in our new workstation. So exciting. So once you've logged into your workstation, there's going to be a link at the very top that says orders. If you go ahead and click on orders, you're going to come to this screen. The screen shows the new order entry. You're going to get a new order, open orders, or order history. So those are the three main things that you're going to want to do from the order history or the order screen. In order to create a party or do an individual order, it's going to be one of these two buttons. So let me explain a little bit of why you would do an individual order versus an actual party order. I don't typically place any individual orders, and I don't know the last time that I did, but in the event that you needed to place an order that is not attached to a party, you would click on individual order, place the order, and have it ship out. And an order like this through individual order will not be attached to any sort of party. Okay. So the next time that you want to create a party, maybe you have a hostess, or you want to create a party for yourself that you can put uh, orders in that you get um, what I call straggle orders, then you're going to click on create a party. Pretty simple steps, okay? Creating a party is going to open up an area where you can add orders on the workstation side or you can add orders through your website. So here we're going to call it test party. I'm going to give it a name and we're going to click on continue. At this point now we need to select a host. You can either put in yourself or using the host as the consultant or use the consultant as a host or you can type in somebody's name here. I'm go ahead and put in mine. Okay, and all of the information for the hostess will populate here. So we're gonna save and continue. Here is where we're gonna use our online party screen to set up our website. If you do not want a link or the ability to add an order on your website, then you click on no, and you'll go right to your party orders. By clicking on yes, you have the ability to edit and customize the screen that people will go to when they're shopping that party. So you'll follow the numbers and each number is where you're going to find the coordinating message or picture. So you can type in your own message here. Type in a message here, click next. You can use the default picture or you can upload your own custom image or link or you can embed a video. That will show up here where number two is showing. Featured products, these are the ones that are featured right now, or you can select your own featured products. Those will show in the field down where number three is. And then lastly, you want to pick an end date by clicking on the calendar and then clicking on the date. By clicking continue, you'll go into the party screen. Here is the shareable link that you can give to people in order to uh, give to their customers so that their customers will shop their party or you can just click on the green button that says copy link. Now you can either edit the online party page again by going back through the steps. If you want to change this to go to the consultant's address, you could do that. Or if you want it to go to the hostess's address or a temporary one-time address, you can do that as well. Just make sure that you are selecting the right address, okay? Um, and then we can go back into the party page to edit it. Next, next, end date, and continue. And now we're ready to enter orders. <clears throat> when you go to the party orders, you're going to enter a guest name here. Once you enter the guest name, then you have the ability to add them as a customer. Okay, so you're going to select. If you want to have it direct shipped, you can do that. And then enter the pertinent information down below or you can have it shipped to the hostess. Now, keep in mind that when you're ordering through the web, for the, through the workstation, all orders going to one address, as long as it's a qualifying party, will ship for free. If you do direct ships where they are shipping to the customer's home, they will pay for shipping. You can only give free shipping to one address, and typically it's either the hostess or to the consultant, okay? 
Anytime you place an order on your website, you will also pay shipping if you are attaching it to a party. So it would be no different to have it direct ship from the website. Okay. So we're going to save and either add another guest or save and add products. So let's go to the products. Now we're going to find Marissa's cart and we're going to start entering product. So once you find the product by typing in a few words, you're going to click add and then it brings you to how many you would like to add. If you want to do three bundles, you can build your bundles and then add your scents. So we're going to go through and pick all of our scents. until I have all of them selected. Now, if I wanted to do four of one or two of one, I could do that. Once all of them have been selected, you'll notice that all of the bars up here have been filled and this turned red so that I know that I have gone ahead and filled my entire six packs, all three of them, save and add bundles. Now you're going to see each bundle listed here that I can double check. If I want to edit, I can and go in and change the actual bars that are in these packs or I can collapse it just so that it is a more compact view. Okay. Once your party summary has reached a host base of 200, that's when you know that your hostess has reached the minimum required for free shipping and for a qualifying party. The populated hostess credits will also show up. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to add a bunch of stuff into Marissa's cart here so that we can create a qualifying party. And let's do that. Okay, so now we have a qualifying party. And the reason that I know that is because under the party summary, my host base is $350. Okay, now it's showing my, my rewards. It says that I have four half price and $35 in free credit and that I haven't used any of it yet. Under this party summary is where I'm going to find my perpetual party reward that I can claim. This is a half price item that can be given to the hostess or a guest, or you can use it as from the consultant. You can apply it as a consultant. You would select the name of the guest or the consultant or the hostess, and then apply the um, product that you want to get at half price. Okay, so let's select a hand cream. It's a $9 hand cream. The remaining balance is 450. Okay, so now in order to redeem my hostess rewards, I'm going to click on the host cart, and here is where I'm going to see retail, host credit, and half price items. Now January is double half price, that's why you're seeing it at double right now, which is pretty cool. If you want to add more retail products for the hostess, you can do that here by typing in the search products by name, or you can apply the host credits here. So for $35 worth of free credits, we're going to do a six pack of scent packs. So by typing in packs as plural, it will show the different packs that we have. I'm going to click on add and we're going to say I want six of the Amazon rain. Save and add bundle and now I've used an entire $35 in credits, which is pretty awesome. So it says that there are zero left and that there is zero remaining. Okay, so the subtotal is zero because the credits were applied. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the half price items. I'm just going to select an item that I want to get at half price. I can do that. It says I have three left out of the four. I've spent one. I'm going to go ahead and choose another one. I can choose a bar if I want. And I have one left and now I've used all of my half price items. Full price is shown here, half remaining price is shown there. The total will calculate for you to show you the price of the half price items that you need to pay for. Okay. If you want to estimate the tax and shipping, you would just click on that link and it will populate for that state that it's shipping to. And now it's in uh, the shopping cart as well. So now it says continue to next cart, which would be um, Marissa's cart. Just to double check if I wanted to, don't need to. So now I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to check out because everything has been utilized. And the best way to check that would be to go to open order. Sorry, I did that kind of quick. So if you're back at the, the order screen, you're going to click on open orders. 
It saves as you go, by the way. And click on Edit Orders for that party. And I'm going to just check the summary. So everything here has been used. So I know that all my rewards have been used. And so I can continue to the checkout. So let's go ahead and check out. Now I'm going to select my free shipping, which there's only one option. I'm going to hit continue. And here is where I'm going to make payments. Now I'm not going to be able to process this on the screen because I'm not actually going to pay for this um, since it's a test order. But I do want you to notice that if I select on these two items, I can put in as many credit cards as I need in order to pay off this balance. So what's going to happen is as you populate card information in here, okay, you're going to click on pay different amount. You're going to put the amount that you want charged to that credit card and you're going to apply it. Once all of these have entered to zero, <coughs> excuse me, you will see that it gets applied right here where the total applied is and then the balance will continue to drop down as you are paying with credit cards. Once you get to a zero balance, then you're going to have the, admit, the ability to click on pay and submit order. Once you pay and submit order, the order has been submitted and all orders within that party are going to ship at that point that were not placed on your website. So remember, if you go to your website and you want to place an order with that party, you need to select the party at the website level and understand that you will pay shipping to have it shipped to that individual or that individual will pay shipping to have it shipped to them. But it can be added to this party. Now, in order to see where those orders are, let me show you um, an open order. I'm going to go into my open house on edit orders. And if you look down here, it says online orders. Okay. So when I select online orders, it's going to show me people that have ordered online and the total amount of that order. So when you order online, it's automatically being shipped out and will ship when the order is placed on the website. They don't have to wait for the party to close. So I hope that they found that this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, our order system is super simple now, and uh, I hope you find that it's the same for you. Um, one more place to show you would be the history tab. This will show you all orders that have been placed and by clicking on them you have the ability to open it up and see details about the order. Alright, uh, if you have any questions let me know.